glass of water. So see mm -hmm. the glass of water that's here? This is a glass of Wesson oil. Okay, so um, here's a stirring rod, and so if you'll just take the stirring rod, put it right down the glass of water, right. and kind of set it off to the side like this, and you can see that is not invisible. No, not I can see that. Invisible. Yet, when you take uh, the uh, stirring rod made out of the same material, and you plunge it down in this one, look, it vanishes. Is that kind Absolutely. of magic? Now, yes. if you look closely, you'll start to see it, but go ahead, jam another one of those in there. Isn't that just, it's amazing. So why is that? So there that? they are. So it's here but then it looks like it vanishes. Isn't that amazing? And the secret, believe it or not, is how we look at things with reflection and refraction. We're seeing this because light travels through the glass, which right. is fine, then it goes through the water, slows down a little bit, then it hits the glass and it refracts. It reflects a little bit, but it refracts because it bends. The materials are, are different, the glass and the water. But believe it or not, Wesson oil, so here's the secret, mm -hmm. Wesson oil, all right? Wesson oil has an index of refraction that's very, very similar to that of a special kind of glass called Pyrex. So here, oh, show yeah. them this. Of course we there use is Pyrex, Pyrex right mm -hmm. there. So that's Pyrex. So if you ever see something that has a little brand on it that says Pyrex, you can kind of see that's a, a Pyrex container. So I was kind of thinking of it this way maybe. So this one's half water and uh, and half oil. Look at see that. How it sits yes. inside? Nice. So right. now when it goes down inside, it may disappear from the top down. So this may go in again it looks like it vanishes and then all of a sudden you see it there. That so isn't is that kind cool. of a cool picture? That is very cool. So it looks cool. like it kind of vanishes right there in the very middle and it's called an index of refraction. So if you're having some fun with friends, you can you can find other things that are here. So uh, let's say for example, here's our big container that we have here. You can actually drop things down inside. Maybe the easiest way to find Pyrex um, is your local science teacher who may have a Pyrex rod, uh, you know, a stirring rod or, was, or a beaker or something. I've not seen that, no. But sometimes uh, when you're cooking, you find Pyrex, Pyrex kind of exactly. materials. Sometimes little glass figurines are made out of Pyrex. Oh. It's a special kind of glass that's gone through a tremendous amount of heat and then cooling process so that it can withstand those temperature changes. So here, watch this. See these little beakers? So show them the little beaker. Mm -hmm. And if you just drop the little beaker down inside, watch what happens. It just just going yeah, to drop, it, drop in. it in. So there it goes, oops, vanish. <gasps> Isn't that kind of cool? Disappears. So you see the bubbles that are around it? Mm -hmm. So if we slowly kind of lower it in, we can see if the bubbles will vanish. So there it is there. And you that looks pretty good, doesn't it? It looks it's not really perfectly good. perfectly gone, but it looks like there's a little ghost that's there as it sits there. So it's a great way to be able to study light and optics, see kind of how it bounces around there. Go ahead, push it, it down. Should I push it down just a little yep. bit? Bam, kind Perfect. of gone. Isn't that just amazing? So you can make things vanish by simply using something as simple as Wesson oil and Pyrex. The secret is the index of refraction. See, I have both of these. I don't use them for other purposes. See, I have a Pyrex <laughs> pan, never see, use it. Never, this. never. And if you don't use Pyrex, for example, this isn't Pyrex. You can see when you go inside, you can definitely see that inside there. So uh, you so have to use Pyrex. the Pyrex glass for it to be able to work.